would you suggest to run a small business or a large corporation? I think it depends a lot on, you know, your mindset. You know, do you want to own a small business, you know, or do you want to build a company, you know? I mean, if, if it's a, you know, I mean, a small business. Wait, hold on. You can't build a company on a small business? Well, you know, of, co of course. I mean, you you, you got to start somewhere, right? So you're going to start somewhere small. Like, I mean, every company started somewhere. And usually it started with like a handful of people. So it was a small business. But any company that um, really, truly created wealth for like the shareholders, for some of the, you know, those early employees, you know, some of the people that had equity in it, like they all became large businesses. You know, they all, they all grew up and became true companies that could either sell to a larger company or that could go public or that was investable, you know? Um, but the problem is I think most small business owners, they don't think beyond themselves. So it's like, you know, they're in the weeds doing so much of the operations behind the scenes that they don't really, they, they, they haven't actually created a business that they can step away from and truly enjoy the freedoms that, you know, is the reason why they started in the first place. You know, I mean, I think people start a business because they want, to pursue freedom for themselves and for their family, but then they get stuck in this like situation where they have like less freedom than they've ever had, you know? And I think it's a lot of the times it's because they've thought, like they didn't think beyond themselves. Like how do I scale my business to a point where it does not need me ever again? Because I think they get so caught up in the day-to-day -day operations, you know? So all small businesses like that, like you can't step away from it? Or some of them, they can actually put somebody else in position. Well, I, th I think some people do. And some people like will put people into positions and will cover some of the positions that are important. But then they might still be heavily reliant on them. So being able to create a company uh, and paint a vision big enough that can scale to a point where people can come onto the team and carry the vision forward without the founder anymore. That's truly like creating a company at the level that like is going to generate true freedom for people because it, 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 what it does is it allows that owner or that founder to be able to step away from the business fully and allow people to come in and actually run and take the business to the destination of, the, of what the vision was originally set at um, without the founder pushing every single day. Now that is going to have to last for a long period of time, but to be in a position where a small business owner can like sit back and enjoy their time with their family and they can travel and go do the things that they've always wanted to do and be able to still earn income and still, you know, and then, and then potentially even be able to sell that business someday because it doesn't rely on the founder. It like that, that is like creating a real true business. My question is this, can I still get freedom from having a small business? I think it depends on how you set it up. Like it depends hundred percent on like, you know, do you establish systems? Do you put in processes? Do you hire people to, you know, carry out certain roles? Can you afford to do that? You know, is your business big enough that it can, you know, afford certain people in certain roles to run the day-to-day -day operations that can allow you to step back? And if so, you know, when you start building out those systems and those processes, you know, you start creating a business that in, you know, someday in the future could be sold. And, and, you know, that's important, especially if you're a small business, you know, cause a lot of times small business, small businesses, they don't, they don't have like a, t a big retirement account set aside. You know, they haven't like saved, you know, and put a bunch of money into a 401k and, you know, and, and they, they're not, they're not like setting themselves up to have like, you know, a nice, uh, you know, pension or, or retirement fund. A lot of times they're putting all of their money back into that business and they forget about the fact that like, like if they don't create the systems and the processes and put those things in place and the people in place that look one day this business could be sold, then, you know, they, they will never be able to walk away from that business with the freedom or with the monetary reward that they like probably went into the business when they first started. You well, know? Because some people don't want to sell it. Sometimes they like the ownership and want to give it to their the kids. So right. Well, so, but, I, but you got to have that conversation. You got to ha you have to have that conversation you know, uh, with yourself in advance. So at least you have a, a, a target, you know, in mind, like, is my goal to exit through a sale or is my goal to pass this business down to my son or my daughter, to my family? And if so, like, what's my retirement plan? Like if I pass it on to my kids, 
like, you know, is the business generate enough income to afford my dividend payment every year? Are the kids going to buy out my share of the business, you know, like through the dividends of the business? Like, so are all those things in place? Have they been thought through? You know, is it, is it clear to whoever is going to be taking over? Like, is it clear to them how they would be actually taking ownership of this business? Like, what is that like transition look like? And has it, has it been thought through? A lot of times people haven't thought through these things, you know? But you prefer a large corporation? Well, to, I mean, to me, I think it's just, if, 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 you know, to me, it's important to build a company that you could sell someday, but you don't have to. Just being in a position where you could sell it or say something happened to you, the business owner, and now like like you know you get hit by a bus you get whacked or you piss somebody off you know or you cut them off in the highway and they had a bad day and then you know i don't know they do something stupid but the reality is like say say you're taken out right you've been taken off this earth now your wife's stuck with your business like does it fall apart or does she have an asset that she can sell or that her kids or your your kids can actually come in and, and help operate and take it to the next level so i think knowing that I'm creating a business that is going to be like at that higher level, that's going to have structure and processes and systems in place. Like that to me is more important than anything else. Cause then I have the choice of, do I sell it? Do I keep it? Is it a legacy play? Things like that. But I think you have to think bigger. You have to think beyond yourself because the business has to be able to afford a team that can run the business beyond you doing 10, 15 different jobs every day. So if you guys want to learn more about starting your own business, Go to adcpro.com. We got monthly webinars. We got a private Facebook group and we have videos all over YouTube covering everything from operations to marketing to finance and much more. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click here. We'll see you guys next time.